At Fort Monroe, Virginia, one of the new 90 millimeter anti-aircraft guns is in place for firing. Note that the gun is mounted on a two-wheel carriage. The gun and carriage, without instruments or accessories, weighs 17,300 pounds, or approximately eight and one-half tons. This is the first time the crew has handled a gun. Three of these new guns are fired in a demonstration for distinguished visitors. The gun is 50 calibers in length, measuring 186 and 15 one hundredths inches from the muzzle to the rear face of the breech ring. The gun has a muzzle velocity of 2,800 foot-seconds as compared with 2,600 foot-seconds for the three-inch anti-aircraft gun. The recoil mechanism and cradle weigh 1,740 pounds. At zero degrees elevation, normal recoil is 48 inches. Maximum recoil is 50 inches at zero degrees elevation. Initial gas pressure is 830 pounds per square inch. Final gas pressure is 1,079 pounds per square inch. This gun has a vertical elevation of from zero to 80 degrees and a 360 degrees traverse. three-inch guns are also fired during the demonstration. A 37-millimeter remote-controlled anti-aircraft gun is tested at Fort Monroe, Virginia for adoption by the Army. Traverse and elevation are controlled by the M5 director. The director seen here is of English design. This gun can fire automatically in short bursts at a rate of 120 rounds per minute. In this demonstration, the gun is fired by a foot trigger, one shot at a time. 
It has an effective range of 500 to 3,000 yards using high explosive ammunition and is designed for use against dive bombers and light bombardment airplanes. The gun is controlled by oil motors which are in turn controlled electrically by the M5 director. Note the tracer flashes in the right side of the screen. This shows the firing of a 16-inch howitzer at Fort Story, Virginia. It is the first time this gun has been fired for several years. Several rounds are fired in practice. 